Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to fix your either left or right Joy-Con not working on your Switch OLED in handheld mode. So I had this issue a year ago on my regular Nintendo Switch and because the Joy-Cons are the exact same on the regular Switch as the Switch OLED, I'm going to be remaking this video for the OLED. Of course, I don't have this issue, however, I had it a year ago and I'll be covering the exact same steps I took personally to fix the issue. So I'll be covering three fixes. The first one, uh, which I'll be showing, it worked temporarily, hopefully a few it will just work because uh, it's quite simple the second fix is you know just throwing it in there for the sake of it and then the third fix was what fixed personally for me uh the uh joy con it, i had the right joy con the working and it permanently worked so i'll be covering that as well in this video if you go through all three fixes and you're still unable to get the joy cons working I will also cover how to do a warranty claim and also consumer law rights if you're in the UK. So first of all, what I want you to do, uh, let's go through the first fix, is you just want to open up system settings, scroll all the way down until you see controllers and sensors, and then you should be able to see disconnect controllers. And don't forget, even though your Nintendo Switch, uh, you know, you are unable to connect it, uh, your right Joy-Con or left Joy-Con in handheld mode, you can still use it to control the Switch. So what you want to do is disconnect both Joy-Cons, from the switch so we'll just go like this like you know swiping out and then just hold x to disconnect the uh faulty controller so we'll just do that right here and you can see now both controllers have been disconnected we'll just tap on ok and then you want to go back and you want to go to controllers and then you just want to find change grip slash order go into this page and then you see right here on the joy cons there's this black bar just hold this down so just hold boom and then that should pair I'm going to hold down this one as well so we'll just do this right here let's take a bit of time you just need to be a bit patient and eventually both joy con should pair back to the switch so what we want to do next is just hold down l and r a and then what we want to do is we just want to do this twice but this time we're going to do this in handheld mode so we're just going to go like the boom and then we're going to go boom so you just want to put these uh, joy cons back in doesn't matter if one of them doesn't work what will happen is if you have one joy con isn't working uh the other one is when you move to left and right you'll see it will show like the switch icon and it will show the right hand side not working and then when you control with the right hand or joy con it will show you know just like a detached joy con and it won't show the switch so you'll be able to still control it so we'll just go back to system settings controllers and sensors and then we'll just find disconnect we'll do the exact same well we're going to do this in handheld mode this time for me everything automatically paired however for you things may not and you want to go back into controllers change grip slash order and then what you want to do is just remove these uh, joy cons repair both of them so we'll just hold it down like so and then we'll do the left one right here and we just want to make sure both are paired and then what you want to do just do this again a when you're ready and you want to put both joy cons down again and once you've done this put your switch to sleep and you just want to put your switch in the dock and you want to leave it there for around six hours or so when i did this and when i came back the right joy con which wasn't working before actually started working again this didn't last for very long it lasted for a couple of hours however it's worth the shot because the other fixes you know we, we get a bit creative but they, they do work generally the first fix actually worked uh, on my old switch so i recommend you do it so the next fix i'm just throwing it in there for the sake of it there may just be a software bug right maybe something glitched out and so doing it something as simple as just trying a restart is always worth it. it's just hold down the power button right here and you should be brought to the sleep mode just tap on power options restart tap on that one wait for the restart to complete maybe uh, leave your switch off in the dock in the dock is all very important for a couple of hours see if that fixes the issue if it doesn't fix the issue we're going to have to go on to fix free so what you're going to have to do for fix free this is this is what 100 percent work for me is you're going to have to get compressed gas what's compressed gas essentially it's just gas which just you know is in, is in the can and you can spray it and i actually use this to fix my right joy con not working on my switch a year ago so what you want to do i will show you know the video from last year on exactly what to do as a visual representation but the problem i think happened was there was like there was something blocking the connectors so what i did is i got compressed gas and i sprayed it you can see inside of here and so i'm just gonna move this to the other side so you can actually see so i moved i sprayed it inside of this area right here this area right here and on the joy con itself i also sprayed it i just sprayed it all around the Joy-Con, but also in the SL and the SL buttons. 
and then things actually work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that video right now so you can actually see what to do because I don't have compressed gas anymore so I can't show. You will not have any water damage by doing this because it's gas you're spraying and not liquid. You may see some frosting that's because uh, you know the plastic just gets cold. It's not going to crumble or something like that. So I'm just going to play that now. So we're going to remove both joy cons okay we're also going to power off the switch just put the compressed gas right short bursts make sure you cover all corners do the bottom one there we go and you will notice a bit of frosting that's fine now compressed gas while it while you can see liquids coming out it's not water and it evaporates very quickly therefore um, even, even the liquid itself, it cannot, um, you know, cause water damage or dumb stuff like that. So the frosting is perfectly fine. Now we're just going to do the uh, switch. So, boom, just go around, just like that. And we'll just do the top as well, just for extra measure on these uh, SR buttons as well. And now you are good to go. So, you can see the frosting shows up, that's perfectly fine. The switch will also be cold and the uh, Joy-Cons themselves. Finally, just turn back on the switch, right? And the boot up time shouldn't take that long. So, there we go. Right, and once it's booted up, try putting it on and now it should work. So, boom, and that's what that's what has uh, permanently fixed it for me. And you can see both are fully working. All right, so let's say you followed all those three fixes and none of them worked, right? What can you do? Well, first of all, there is a possibility that your Nintendo Switch Joy-Con, uh, the cable which you use in order for the pairing function to be recognized, it disconnected. Now, I actually, you know, back in the day, I unscrewed my Switch Joy-Con and it turned out that wasn't the case. So, you know, really, unless you 100% know this is the issue, maybe you slammed your Switch Joy-Con and then the uh, pairing mode wasn't working anymore. All you will need to do is you will need to unscrew all these screws right here and then replug in that flex cable. I do not recommend you try this uh, until I cover the next fix. And the reason why is because if you screw up, you're going to void your warranty. Uh, because you've obviously tampered with the Joy-Con, um, because the next fix is warranty, right? Don't forget, you have a year of limited warranty, which means if something is genuinely faulty and you didn't intentionally break it, right? And even if you did, let's be real, you can BS your way around it, then you can get a free replacement. So, you know, just search up Nintendo Switch warranty claim. There is a form by Nintendo. You will need to fill it out and you'll be good to go. I remember the start of the video, I was talking about consumer law rights. In the UK, it is a legal requirement for any company to give you five years of warranty, right? Do you know what that means? Even if your one year of limited warranty ran out, if you're in the UK, you can invoke your consumer law rights. It's the law and the supplier, right? Not the actual uh, company itself, but the supplier you got your switch from is legally entitled to give you a, you know, a warranty claim if something went wrong. So I bought this Switch OLED from Game.com, so I would invoke my consumer law rights to them. If you bought from Nintendo directly, you can do that to them. And whatever supplier you got your Switch from, you tell them, I'm going to invoke my consumer law rights, and they will legally have to give you a replacement. Now, the, the actual Switch has to be faulty. You can't just, you know, oh, look, my Switch is a bit old. Give me a free one. No, it actually has to be faulty. And if that's the case, you can get a free replacement, and boom, well, that's going to fix the issue isn't it so this is only a law in the uk there may be some other countries as well but it's definitely not available in the us if you try and do this in india they will literally laugh at you <laughs> i'm not even joking i like generally if you go to an apple store and try and get a warranty claim in india they will laugh at you so you know it's, it's one of those things it depends which country you're in uh for you know how you are treated but in the uk that is an option available and um yeah so that's really it for this uh, guide. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Nintendo Switch tips and tricks playlist on your end screen right now. See you guys later. Bye bye.